Benjamin Hawkins and I'm a goldsmith from London. Saraband helped me get off the ground as, as a new maker, so I was really excited to be able to contribute back. The inspiration was Nick Knight's Moth. Um, it was less the detail of the design and more the concept of a really highly polished silver moth being on people's lapels or on their dresses walking around. It's really important that this fundraiser is going to happening. It's, a, it's for a great cause, I'm happy to be a part of it. So the way I made the moth was I started off doing a few sketches. I started melting down metal. The fire heated up the metal and melted it onto the back. The steel block just sucks the heat out of it. You can put it in water, it's called quenching. That's how you take the heat out really quickly. But with metal, the quicker you cool it, the harder it goes and you want it to be soft so you can work with it. Drawing on it, cutting bits out, finding weights again, thicknesses, sizes, all really important. Small details make quite a lot of difference, especially if we're making multiples of them and everything's handmade. Silver polishes really highly. Um, it's quite easy to work with, it's quite light. If you're gonna use platinum and other metals, it'd be quite heavy and it might weigh down when I was wearing it. Um, so silver was just the obvious choice for this one. I made the master pattern myself, but now we're making more of them. Um, I'm involving other craftsmen. So there's a company which are casting. We're keeping everything in the UK, we're keeping everything in London. We think it's really important. Most of the time I make one-off pieces, one-off commissions. And multiples of things becomes a lot harder. When you're making one thing, you make the master pattern, uh, and then that's just it. But you have to think about the next stage, about how it's going to be transferred into something else. So that's been a learning curve for me. My favourite part of the process is polishing it. Once all the hard work's done, so you spend time drawing it, designing it, getting the proportions right, thinking of weights, especially for a brooch pin. People can be wearing it on different materials, it has to fit right. But once you've done all that, you sandpaper it three times, and then you polish it at the end, you get that bright finish. As soon as you take it off the mop, I think it's the most satisfying part of the process.